my foot hurts much more than yesterday. Kind of limping a little bit now. Let's see how much that will slow me down in the end. I'm gonna head into, back into desert without any shade at all. At some point there should be a water uh, collection point as well with like 240 gallons of water. I built myself a little bit of a shady spot here with my tent. These trees, they're so spiky. Tat relax. Ow! I gotta say, it is the perfect spot to air out the blister, but the thing is I only did 10 kilometers so far and I have around 21 kilometers to the campsite that I wanted to use tonight. Uh, and from there I wanted to do the final stretch to Walker Pass. But I'm not sure if I can make it there. We'll have to see. This is gonna be really hot. There's not a single cloud. I have the good setup here. I probably have to move it around a little bit when the sun moves. I was watching a TV show and just rest. Guess I'll do that five more hours. I'm getting close to 1 p.m. now. I have to keep moving around this big tree. It's a shame that I have my foot problems now because I was starting so early today. And I'm here since 8.30 I think. I could have walked maybe another three hours to get to a better spot. I'm kind of stuck here in the middle of the desert. So it's 2.30 now. I've been here for six hours. Slightly bored to be honest. Too hot to sleep. Not enough space to lie down flat. Every minute that passes now it will get a bit colder. That's good. The next water source after this cache is another cache, another road. 24 kilometers from here. That's actually where I originally wanted to sleep tonight. I have to see how my foot is doing. Hiker's box here. This last part here was my favorite actually scenic wise. All the mountains and the boulders. Oh. From here it's still 10 kilometers. Very exhausted. It's uh, getting to 7 p.m. now. Still got some sunlight. Oh, I'm not sure if I can make it. The clever thing to do would be to take your time, take a lot of breaks and walk in the darkness. That's what most people do. But here I could see an awesome sunrise and there would be a perfect spot to camp. I think I'm gonna set up tent here. That was the most annoying tent setup part of the PC. And these little things are so spiky, I bounced my ass multiple times and my head hit these ones here. Day number five here on the PCT. Last part to walk a pass to finish the first section of my hike. Those were the guys that I met on the last water cache. They also didn't make it. <laughs> they had to camp as well. I said yesterday it was 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Today is supposed to be only 88. Or oh, I can see the water actually. It's sparkling in the sun. Yes. Look at this spot here with the tree in the shade. I'm gonna stay here. This spot is actually so freaking perfect. I can put my phone and my camera and my water. And this is my bed. I haven't touched my um, mashed potatoes yet and I've got a lot of them. So now it's finally the time to do the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna add mac and cheese to it. Let's have a look. That's boiling, that should be done in a minute, the macaroni. I'm gonna add as much as I can from my mashed potatoes. 
and the cheesy sauce. That doesn't look too bad, I would say. Except for the mashed potatoes, it's actually a full cup of food. Maybe that's gonna be enough. Well, I left the siesta spot, the best one so far yet. It's 3.30. It's gonna get colder from now, but 26 kilometers to Walker Pass, which has water. Just in so much pain. It's not just a blister, there's also something else with a bone or something, I don't know. And now we're on another off-road piste, and it's very wavy up and down, and that's so painful right now. It's 8 p.m. Made it to the cabin. Completely exhausted. My feet hurt like hell. I'm going to toilet here. There's beer, but it's empty. Sadly, sadly no water. Hey, good morning, guys. Here yeah, it's uh, 4 15. I actually slept outside the cabin in front of the door. <laughs> I was too lazy to set up my tent. Finally made it over the mountain now, and yeah, I've got some bad news. The blister is not really a big deal anymore, but I've got two bumps in my foot on the top of my right foot, and it seems to be some sort of hard tissue, and it grows a little. It's really painful. I have to probably get it checked. Close, 1.4 kilometers to a Walker Pass campsite over there. If I'm lucky, there's a guy called Double Barrel. He might be able to give me a lift into Lake Isabella because he's heading there with his fiance and they were camping here. Good news, uh, Double Barrel is still here. They're gonna give me a lift. I checked into the Isabella Motel here. Um, spent the whole day inside the room just relaxing and uh, trying not to uh, yeah, damage the foot even more because it's. Uh, really painful now and tomorrow I'm gonna go to the hospital here. Definitely uh, take three days now off, not just one, three. I wanna make sure there's proper time to heal. The pool here as well, so tomorrow I'm gonna check that out. Because we actually finished uh, the section F in California. In total 85.8 miles or 137 kilometers from Tehachapi Pass to Walker Pass. So I could finally satisfy all the cravings that I had during the hike. Cold Sprite, ice cream and cold water. I was really looking forward to that stuff now. Happy to pay eight dollars for these three things actually. <laughs> guys that's it for me thanks so much for watching i hope you liked the video leave a like leave a comment to let me know what i could do better maybe it was quite tough for the first uh, section of the pct for sure <laughs> lots of sun not too much shade and not too much water but yeah we're gonna rest up now here in lake isabella and then i'm gonna go back to walker pass and two days after that we should reach candy meadows and that's gonna mark the start of the Sierra and the high mountains with the higher altitudes, cooler temperatures and tons of water. I'm really looking forward to that. Until then, see you and take care of yourself. Bye bye. Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. I really hope you liked the content and if you did, please consider subscribing using the bell icon as well to make sure you're not missing any of the new content. And I would also love to hear about your feedback in the comments.